Well, one thing about Jim Rome, he has an opinion, and Jim Rome is definitely the driver of the Cleveland Browns football bandwagon. The reloaded Browns against Casey's revamped offensive line. In other words, the AFC championship game preview in week one. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I know exactly what I'm saying. Browns at KC. Admit it. The Browns are legit. And admit this. I was the first human being on this planet, certainly the first one, with a national megaphone to shout from the highest rooftops that I found America's team, the new America's team, and they're freaking coming. And I was right. And if you want to be right, you'll listen to what I'm saying finally. Yes, they've got a rough schedule. And no, I don't give a damn. Because as the great Monty Williams likes to say, everything you want is on the other side of hard. And the Cleveland Browns and I are not looking for any handouts. Just like we're not looking to take part, we are looking to take over. And the league didn't jam them with that schedule, but they did jam them with only a few primetime games. I mean, there was a time when the Browns having three primetime games would have been a reason to party. Right now, it's practically a reason to go. It's definitely a reason to feel disrespected. They're freaking America's team. Let's bring in Tim Bielek from Cleveland.com as well as the Plain Dealer. Tim, Browns America's team, are you buying it? Um, I'm, I'd am i say so. I mean, he obviously said they were America's team in 2019. He said he was the first, but I also say he was a year early today. I think we all know how the hype machine went the first time around in 2019, but certainly the Browns have always been, you know, a driver of attention in the NFL, even when they, even when they weren't good, people were still kind of paying attention what to what they were doing. But now that they're good, obviously they're in Super Bowl contention. Jim Rome thinks that the Browns and Chiefs is the AFC Championship preview. It's certainly easy to see why that can be the case. The Bills and the Ravens can certainly have something to say about it. But I am fascinated with what's going to happen week one and all that stuff. And with the improved defense, there's no reason to believe that. The Browns can't end the season as America's team. Are you surprised at how quickly the uh, the narrative changed? I mean, Kevin Stefanski's first year, people were saying maybe 500 success. They win a playoff game. The roster is upgraded. And now, nationally, they're viewed as Super Bowl contenders. I think the hype is – I think it's been there for a while. It's just, you know – Everybody thought 2019 was same old Browns. You know, that was when the hype began. That was the Odell Beckham trade. That was, you know, they made all these moves in free agency to really bolster the team. And then they fell flat on their face going six and 10. The year later, Kevin Stefanski comes in, alters the culture. Not only do they win 11 games, but they win their first playoff game. They give the Chiefs as good a push as anybody gave them prior to the Super Bowl the entire season. Albeit Patrick Mahomes didn't play the second half of the game. And we didn't, we don't know how differently that would have turned out if Mahomes was healthy and wasn't knocked out of that game. We don't know that, but certainly I think, I don't think it went away. I think it was just kind of people out there in hype looking at it, looking at the Browns is kind of a wait and see thing. Like show me what you are before we're going to start buying into that. And I mean, the Browns getting into the last day of the NFL showing the potential that everybody thought they had two years prior um, just tells me that they're right on the cusp.